Alright guys, Tom here, and welcome to a new video. Now, we're about we're just over 50 days until WrestleMania 29. That feels so good to say. I cannot wait for WrestleMania 29. But I was, just, I was just sat on my own thinking about WrestleMania because I'm just such a fanatic about WWE and everything. And I thought, they're keeping everything really tight this year. I mean... We haven't really had a really decent insight into what matches could possibly be at WrestleMania 29, except the John Cena vs. Rock match, which is nearly 100% definite that we will get that match once in a lifetime, V2. But I was like, apart from that, you can't really predict a lot of the matches which are going to take place on the match card. So I was like, why don't I predict a match card which could happen at WrestleMania 29? So I've, can't, I've, can't, I've tried to piece together a decent match card which has the possibility to beat the match card on WrestleMania 29. Now, obviously, it's not going to be exact, but I've tried to kind of do... There's a few people that haven't really built a feud with anybody at the moment. They haven't really showed any interest into anybody at the moment, so it was really hard, especially people like Wade Barrett. And to be honest, I don't really know who's going to win the Elimination Chamber to become the number one contender for Del Rio's World Heavyweight Championship, so I'll give it a go. So here it is, I've got some notes on who are, what kind of matches there could be. Now, the first one was pretty obvious, it's going to be Cena versus The Rock for the WWE Championship. Now, Cena won the Royal Rumble at 2013, and to be honest, this match, like I said, nearly 100% definite is going to take place, so that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that, but if this match does take place, Cena will win, because The Rock hasn't been... He's not going to be performing on Raw at all, really. He's, he's literally just going to be here for the pay-per-views. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can't really have Rock being the champion uh, not going to be performing on Raw. And Cena pretty much nearly in all the main events. And he's the kind of person you want to be the champion. The next match, we were kind of promised this match. Well, not really promised, but... Something that a lot of internet fans like myself really wanted was Sin Cara versus Rey Mysterio. Now, these guys, don't get me wrong, are a great, great, great tag team. But since Sin Cara came to the WWE, he's a, as a masked wrestler. We all thought we were going to get Rey Mysterio versus Sin Cara, but since due to injury and stuff, kind of swayed away from this. But I think at WrestleMania 21, if you can remember way, way, way back eight years ago, we had an um, Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio match at WrestleMania 21, and it was kind of a tribute match to them both. It was a very friendly match, so I could see a possibility, maybe a tribute to Eddie Guerrero, a Sin Cara versus Rey Mysterio friendly match, because I do think these guys have very, very great potential being a tag team, but we were always, always, always kind of promised this match which would go ahead, and I think it would be a really, really, really good match. The next match is the Divas Championship match. Now, Right, I've, I've put Caitlyn to uh, carry on the championship till WrestleMania 29. We haven't really had Divas matches for it. I don't think we ha have had a Divas match um, before Royal Rumble. So we haven't had one after Royal Rumble. So like for the past two weeks. So I've gone for AJ Lee to face Caitlyn. Because I don't think she's doing very well with Dolph Ziggler. I don't think it fits very well at all. And the perfect exit for that kind of friendliness, whatever's going on there, I think it would be very good for AJ to start at WrestleMania 29 and to win the Divas Championship. Because I think her um, her like chance in the WWE is kind of going downhill mixing with Dolph Ziggler. I think that she really needs to be seen in-ring. I think she's a good in-ring performer. And being with Dolph Ziggler, she really can't shine at all. The next match is Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger. Ever since Jack Swagger's come back a week ago, he's been absolutely brilliant. He has absolutely been top class. And I think Jack Swagger has a very, very big chance of winning Elimination Team in 2013. He has been awesome. I've really, really enjoyed his matches. I've been so surprised how well he's performed ever since he came back at Elimination Chamber. And uh, not Elimination Chamber. Smackdown last week. I think he's been so good. I'm so excited to see him at Elimination Chamber. I think it'll be a really, really good match for Del Rio at WrestleMania 29. If he does win the Elimination Chamber, which I do think is very, very likely. So I'm going to go for Del Rio versus Jack Swagger. The next two is Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. I do think Triple H is going to get involved with the feud with Mr. McMahon and how he's... Sh um, I think he hurt his hip or something like that. We could get this match V2. I was a bit wary about putting this one down because the SummerSlam match was very, very highly rated, um, highly hyped. But when the match begun, it was absolutely awful. It was submission after submission after submission. It was absolutely crap. So I'm not sure. It's, there's a very, very um, a big doubt over this match. But I do think it's a very big possibility because Brock Lesnar has definitely got to start a few with somebody. I'm not sure who it will be. 
Uh, yeah, pretty much don't know who it will be. It's not going to be The Miz. So, yeah, it could be Triple H. I'm not sure. Triple H will be at WrestleMania 29. I do think he will perform at WrestleMania 29. The next match is very, very definite to happen. CM Punk versus Taker. The Undertaker said he wants to lose his streak. In an interview, he wants to lose his streak to CM Punk at WrestleMania 29. I think it's 21. Is he on now? He wants to lose his streak to CM Punk. He thinks it would be a great opportunity because we do know he's going to re retire. So that's pretty much I can say on that, but I do think that match is very, very definite to happen. The next match is Cesaro versus Ryback. We saw this match on Raw, and surely WWE can see potential. This match was awesome, and Cesaro needs a new competitor, and I think Ryback would be a really, really good competitor for Cesaro, uh, um, sorry, WrestleMania 29. That's pretty much it I've got to say about that. I think that would be a really, really good match. The next match is Wade Barrett. Now this one I'm really confused about. They're not building anyone. There's no really decent mid carders which would go against Wade Barrett for his uh, Intercontinental Championship at the moment. So I put a question mark over Bo Dallas. I can't really see that one happening. He's only been in the WWE for about two weeks. Biggie Langston. Could he peel away from Dolph Ziggler? Possibly. Sheamus. Possibly as well uh, for the Intercontinental Championship. If there is going to be a Money in the Bank match, I would put Sheamus in there. Possibly Kane, Daniel Bryan and the Shield to squeeze them in there. Um, yeah, pretty much... I'm not sure if they're going to do a Money in the Bank match because they do have that as a pay-per-view now. Um, whether they're going to carry that on this year it hasn't been confirmed if there will be a Money in the Bank pay-per-view. But if there isn't, there will be one at WrestleMania 29 because I, I really like the idea of having a Money in the Bank briefcase. But this this video is dragging on too long, so I won't get into that in too much detail. The next match is Ziggler versus Chris Jericho. This will be an awesome, awesome match. And if I do have a very, very big feeling that Ziggler will cash in. Hence why he says he wants to steal the show just full stop period. Yeah, he's going to steal the show. I definitely think he's going to cash in and steal the show. Dolph Ziggler versus Chris Jericho would be awesome. I do think Chris Jericho will be there. Dolph Ziggler will definitely have a match as well. Pairing these two together as well would be a great, great match. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've got to say about that. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, as you did know, WrestleMania 29 does last four hours every WrestleMania. So that's why there's a lot of matches. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hopefully you didn't drag on for too long. Thanks for watching. It's been my pleasure. And goodbye.